Good morning, Aquarius. This reading is for you for the second half of November. We're going to pull some oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot. I hope your first half of November went well. I'm getting ready for the holidays. Okay, let's focus on your energy, Aquarius. We have a seasonal harvest. This is definitely the time to reap in your harvest, Aquarius. What are you reaping? And we have water magic. Wow, great energy so far. And we have affirmations for acceptance. Let's get a few more. Get a few more oracle cards. We have a deep breath. A lot of the other signs have been getting that too. I think it's a time to really take a deep breath and focus. Kind of stand back a little bit and kind of just observe all the beautiful things that are around you. Call of the Muse. Okay, let's pull one more. I feel like someone's someone's in your life who's really entertaining you, I want to say. And you have earth magic. So you have water magic and earth magic. So I think that you are really building on something. And at the bottom you have a powerful move so what are you what are you moving into right now Aquarius let's see let's get an answer from your angels let's get some advice from your angels let's see what they have to say The very angelic 1111 just passed. So it could be a very powerful time for you. You could still be in that energy. You have Francesca. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Yeah, so especially when you're manifesting something, when you desire something to come into your life, uh, you always want to be positive. Be optimistic. And you have mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Beautiful, Aquarius. At the bottom you have... Fiona, now that you've asked your angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So it looks like you have um, divine help that you can tap into or you need to. Our angels are always there to help us during our times of need and also our times when we are grateful and receiving. So always be grateful when you're giving and receiving, Aquarius. I feel like you've given a lot. Okay. We have the Hierophants. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Strength card. We 
we have the hangman and the magician. Wow. Your energy is just... What are you doing right now, Aquarius? Your energy is just really... You have the Queen of Cups. You have the Judgment. Okay, so your whole top row is nothing but Major Arcana. So this is, this is very strong energy. I think this is, this is a very exciting time for you, Aquarius. I think that whatever you're doing, whatever you are doing is just, and you have two queens together. You have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So, wow. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of uh, Swords. But I'm not seeing any disappointment or anything like that. I'm not seeing that you're going through any heartbreak. Um, I feel like you are becoming your highest spiritual self at this moment. You are... I believe you, you've been asking, you've been giving, um, you've been giving to a lot of different people and I believe that all of this is coming back to you. Um, with the Hierophant and the Seven of Wands, I feel like you're protecting your spiritual side. There's something that you're protecting as far as your spirit, spiritual side. You are, I believe that you're coming more spiritual at this time. Now, if you look at the strength card and the magician, both of these cards have the infinite sign right above their head so i really feel like at this time you are you are building something you are manifesting something in your life that is going to strengthen your whole being your whole world this is going to be something that may change your life this this is a life-changing reading I feel because you have the judgment as well so this is like a total unblindfolding um, I want to say you you are being totally renewed I feel like you're going through a time when things are really coming together things are really uh, feeling upbeat I feel like maybe in the past you had to protect yourself and uh, gain your wisdom from, from a higher source. And I feel like you've sacrificed a lot, Aquarius. I feel like you have, um, you have given your all. You have given everything that you possibly could, possibly to a, t a situation to a relationship, to um, to your work, or whatever, whatever it is that you are doing to manifest this incredible situation. But I feel like you have put a lot of love and creativity into this situation. Um, I feel like you have really focused on what it is that you needed to focus on. And I feel like you are reaping those benefits from your hard work. Very interesting, Aquarius. Very interesting. Let's see. Let's clarify a little bit. Because this, this is really... 
wonderful reading with all the major arcana. You have, I've, I've only got eight cards laid out. You have five. Five of those are major arcana. So this is a very important message for you. I feel like whatever you whatever you're doing took a lot of courage for you to kind of step out of the normal and step into something brand new. But I feel like whatever you have focused on, you're actually bringing that down to earth. You're bringing that into fruition. This could definitely, it, it may be that you have finally tapped into your life purpose. You have finally um, figured out what that is. And you feel very, very fulfilled at this time. I feel like you are at the top of your game. You are... You are just reaping all the benefits. But in the back of your mind, you still feel like you need to protect. You need to protect what you've done. And I don't think that's the case, Aquarius. I think that what you have built, you have built on your hard work. Um, whether it's in work, your life, or your relationship. This is a general reading, so it could focus on, on anything. With the Hierophant, you have the Nine of Swords. So yeah, yeah, you're still you're still protecting, you're still defending. You still have fears that all of this will be taken away. You feel like all of your hard work will just go to waste. But spirit is letting you know that yeah, 10 of pentacles. Yeah, definitely. Spirit is letting you know to stand strong. Stand strong. You are stronger than your fears. You are so much stronger than your fears, Aquarius. Yeah, you have the Four of Swords. So I feel like you took a lot of time in manifesting this. This is not something that happened overnight. This was something that happened with a lot of hard work. And now, this is your recovery. This is your renewed situation. And you have the judgment with the Six of Wands. So yeah, I feel like you are going to be so recognized at this time. If if this isn't already happening, I'm, I feel like people have their eyes on you. What is Aquarius about to do next? I feel like you've got a lot of success in whatever that you're doing, Aquarius. I feel like you are... Basking in all of the glory is what I want to say. With the Seven of Wands, you have the moon. So I think that there may be unseen problems that are going to come during this time. But I don't think they're huge problems. I don't think that anything's going to come to pass of this. Um... But just beware of any of any problems that may occur. You know, when you're doing anything, when you're starting a business or when you're uh, going on a new venture, there's always little tweaks and little uh, changes that need to be made. Um, so anticipate those un 
unforeseen problems and just work through them. You've got this, Aquarius. With the hangman, you've got the ten of wands. So, yeah, I feel like your harvest is coming very quickly. Um, especially with that being right under the ten of pentacles. I feel like you're reaping your harvest. It's coming in. With the queen of cups, you have the four of pentacles. So, yeah, you're working on long-term long security. I feel like that's your focus. I feel like you're, you're working on the long-term. You're building on your future. With the queen of wands, you have the eight of swords. So, I feel like, okay, with this, Aquarius, don't let your creativity be blocked. With the, the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, she's very creative. She's very feisty. She's very confident. And the Eight of Swords, they're like holding themselves back. They are kind of blocking their own um, inhibitions. But, yeah, don't block yourself, Aquarius. Don't hold your back. Don't hold yourself back. I feel like saying it's full steam ahead. Keep going. Whatever you are doing, keep going. Keep pushing forward. Let's get another card for this Eight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, you have the Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like once you push through, um, any blockages that you have, anything that's holding you back from the situation, I feel like you, yeah, it's definitely going to be like full steam ahead. It's going to be um, moving straight into your future with the Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. This is something that, with your hard work and all the tenacity that you put in this I feel like you are destined to just burst into your future the wheel is turning Aquarius and it is turning it is turning in your favor this is your destiny. This is what you were meant to do. I, I really feel like you have locked in on something that has has to do with your life purpose. Whatever it is, you are locking into something that is very successful. That's very, very promising. Very promising. Hmm. Yeah, you have the lovers at the bottom right now. So, yeah, I feel like all the major arcana that's coming through in this reading is just incredible because I feel like it's a very intense communication with you, Aquarius. I feel like Spirit really wants you to know that you are on the right track and you're moving forward in the right direction. I feel like you should keep pushing on. Keep reaping your harvest. I want to say focus and protect. Yeah, it may be that that you are just needing to protect your intellectual property some kind of situation that you're creating some kind of maybe a product or um, project that you've created you need to protect your intellectual property 
very interesting. Very interesting. I love reading for you, Aquarius. It's always it's always like a journey. You have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Yeah, so that, that could be with this nine of swords here. You may be worrying about a situation and that there's no need to worry. Worrying is just not needed. It's just used energy. Because the more you worry, the more you think about negative things, the more you anticipate negative things, of course negative things are going to come. Let go of your worry and just tap into your positive flow. Tap into something that's positive. Um, if you need to, make sure to relax and meditate. Take time out to rejuvenate yourself. But step back from the worry. Worry does no good whatsoever. Let's see. We have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah, so it could be something that you've been resenting lately um, and now you need to get your focus back forgive what you need to forgive and move past that Aquarius there's no need to hold on to any resentment or worry so I, I feel like underneath this success that either is what you're working on now or is in your near future, you are holding on to worry and resentment, fears that could be the reason for the moon as well. You're holding on to things that you need to let go, some kind of illusion. Your worries and resentment your fears, they're all illusions. Trust in yourself. Trust in your intuition. Trust where the universe wants to take you. Yeah, you have a feel of fear. You have a fear of failure, Aquarius. I understand that the mistake is only an opportunity to learn. But just remember that each time that we fail, we get up and do it again and the next time we don't fail so yeah I, I feel like you know you're holding on to all these insecurities but you are so successful and I don't think you see it one more indecision I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Yeah, definitely, definitely you need to start using your your intuition um, maybe to help you make choices to get past any fear, worry, or um, resentment, any feelings of failure. Because you're definitely not failing in this reading, Aquarius. You are succeeding in a very good way. I feel like you're on your way. You're just, you're, you're in this eight of swords mold. You are holding yourself back. You are, um, you're thinking about all the negativity that could be dealing with. But you're moving forward. You're moving forward anyway. So, I mean, don't carry though that negativity with you as you move forward. Let go of all that negativity. Start meditating more. Meditate and ground yourself. So that you don't lose your focus. So it doesn't wander back to this 
negative energy of worry and failure. Those fears are just fears. You have true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Definitely. Definitely. That's why I say meditate. Meditate and just rejuvenate. Make sure to ground yourself in positive energy. My vibes speak louder than my words. Okay, and at the bottom you have energy flows where my intention goes. So yeah, move towards that positive energy. Move towards that um, manifesting what it is that you're desiring at this moment. Because I, I feel like you're, you're heading to very good ground, Aquarius. You're heading somewhere new and it's... I, I feel like you're in a very good place. You just need to be grounded and not surround yourself with negative vibes. Yeah, Six of Cups. Okay, so this makes sense now. This makes sense. And you have the Emperor on the bottom. So, you're... You've had other ventures or you have other projects, other things in your life who in the past have really failed. They've fallen apart. But Aquarius, this is something different. This is something totally different. You have complete control of this situation. You have complete control of this situation. So don't let your fears hinder your progress. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, Aquarius. And if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. They may have other messages that are intended for you. And have a wonderful holiday, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Love and light.